you know, like for, for it was under seven hundred under seven hundred pounds. It was actually fucking cheaper than my mic was overall. And um under seven hundred quid for the CPU, motherboard, case, sixteen gig of RAM, the graphics card, and some other bits and shits for it. I can't remember what exactly, um but it's like I, I was pretty fucking I was I was I'm really happy with this. I can run um, Armour Free really well. You saw earlier on, I can play Skyrim, 60 frames per second, all the details on mega high, and streaming at 60 frames per second of it, it's like, that's fucking not bad. So, I, I mean, I'm quite happy with this for the moment, I might, I don't know... I mean, I need to get the uh, I need to get a similar rig as this for Claire, and I might jump up to an i7 just for the. I mean, it seems a bit daft for the price versus performance kind of shit, but I'd actually get use out of it, you know, with um, with render times and with streaming. But I've got to be honest, like render time wise, I'm really fucking happy with the render times at the moment. Like, it's about 22 minutes to render an hour of 720p good quality video. That's fine, is that? That's absolutely fine. 20 fucking minutes. I can render like three hours of HD video in like an hour and a bit. Like call it an hour and a quarter if you want. Hour and a half if you want to call it. Half, a, even if you want to say half an hour per video render, that's fucking nothing, man. You render overnight when you go to bed. You don't sit there rendering during the day unless I really have to. So it's fucking nothing. Really not bad at all. I, I, like I say, I, I'm happy with me. Where did you purchase said PC? I um, I didn't actually. I used a site that church linked me a um, what's it now? A PC part builder or something like that, and um, just built up the different components and bought the different components from different sites wherever it was cheap or reliable. I think it was a combination between Amazon and another site. PC part picker. That's the one. That's the one indeed. Yeah, because if you, if you remember Church, if you remember like last year or something like that, or early this year, I can't remember when it was, I think I asked you, I said like, um, you know, what would be a decent-ish PC and stuff like that, and I ended up buying most of that shit in the end. I ended up getting the i5 for the um, the CPU and stuff like that, um, 60 gig of RAM, ended up with the GTX 660 and stuff like that, I think they were all rough, um, either the same parts that you recommended or um, similar. So, yeah, I ended up using that. Yeah, nice one. It worked out pretty well in the end. Like I say, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I got a beast of a PC. It's like, like I say, a PC enthusiast will go, ah, no, it's weak sauce. You've only got an i5 and not an i7. You don't have a, um... You don't have a, um... Like a, an SLI setup with some fucking... With your graphics cards and stuff like that. You don't have, um, uh, I don't have a solid state hard drive, I need to get one of them. I need to sort my hard drives out, I need a solid state hard drive, I need a uh, RAID array. At least one, I could have a couple really. But, um, but like I said, I've got to build, a, um, I've got to build Clara PC like this one as well. And I think I'm just going to build the exact same fucking PC. It's, it's so cost effective. For the PC, for the power, I mean, like I say, I was streaming Crisis Free at 60 frames per second, 720p, 60 frames per second, and um, playing Crisis Free at 1080p, and it was still playable there. Not great, don't get me wrong, I could do, that needs to go down to 720p, but, you know, not bad. Yeah, I mean, if you're an, if you're a PC enthusiast, you know you get the you get the the best and shit you, know, you you can afford and stuff like that. So, I mean, like I said, I mean to be honest, I could warrant an i7, I could warrant an SLI kit uh, setup and stuff like that. But I had plans to get this. I mean, the problem for me is both me and Claire needed a new PC. On top of that, I needed a new mic setup. So knowing that I needed to spend this amount of money on a PC and then do it again to get clear one and then again to get a mic, you know, roughly the same amount of money to get a mic, it was like, I, I, I've got to be sensible with a PC. 
I, I, had, I had to be sensible when it was uh, when it came to building this PC. So I didn't go for the i7. I didn't go for an SLI setup or anything like that. I just went for a. Um, oh, it's indeed Cure Foxfire. Old school name there. Old school indeed. Hello, sir. I mean, there's one thing about the SL the SLI shit though. You can always bolt another graphics card on later on, can't you? As long as you get a decent power supply and stuff like that, just bolt another um, another one on later on. But yeah, like I say, I mean, I was happy overall. Like the uh, the price now the, nowadays, like the amount of money that you you can spend to get these really nice rigs, it, it's fucking. It, we're in a we're in a good place. With, we might not be in a good place with PC games being strangled by consoles, but we're in a damn good place of uh, PC hardware. Damn good place. It seems like that to me anyway. Like when you can pick up a beast of a PC and not crack over seven hundred quid. That's good stuff, is that? It used to cost about 1500 quid or £2,000 to get the similar kind of... You know, like, wow, my, my new PC is really fucking good. It, like, it used to take a lot of... Oh, yeah, sorry, it is a black screen. I did have... Um, there we go. Back to the ramble, ramble, ramble. There we go. I forgot to put that back on after I'd um, finished playing Crashes 3 for a little bit. But, yeah, yeah... Exactly right, you can build a rock solid gaming ring for like 750 bucks. I mean, 750 bucks, what's that, about 500-ish quid? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, what did I do in mine? Something of mine bumped the cost up a little bit. I can't remember what it was. Something of mine bumped up the cost. But yeah, I, I probably, you could probably get this for about, over, well, $750, but it wouldn't work out the same price in England because we, we have to fucking pay more for everything. Like the prices, you, seriously, the prices you guys pay is really fuck it. it makes me jealous you know it really does because like say you're 750 quid you're 750 bucks you go oh well you know like 500 ish quid something like that i, I mean i could uh, fucking well, we'll find it out out of curiosity 750 dollars in pounds 488 um, pounds so call it 500 quid call it 500 quid um well, the thing is, though, like, we'd get charged extra on everything. It's like, what cost? What would cost you guys the equivalent of five hundred pounds? Would actually cost you the would actually be more like seven hundred pounds. So you'd be paying more, like, about nine hundred dollars. It is rip off Britain. Like I say, what 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 seven hundred and fifty dollars for you guys is at least nine hundred dollars for us, and that's not even I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating. It would cost about nine hundred bucks. Five hundred ish for an i seven. Yeah, not too bad. Yep. Fucking value added tax. We get so much value added out of those taxes. It's so much value. Fucking VAT. Like we don't pay enough tax already, and then you gotta pay fucking VAT. OTG, what do you drink these days? I don't, I'm not much of a drinker, tell you the truth. I'm not much of a drinker, but when I do drink, it'll be vodka every time. Vodka, well, no, I tell you actually. It'll be vodka or wine. A nice, nice sweet white wine. Call me a pussy all you want, I don't care. I like a nice sweet white wine. I don't mind it sour or anything like that, but I prefer, I prefer a sweet wild wine, uh, white wine. Other than that, vodka. Every time. I seem to be a spirit kind of guy, me. I'm not. I, I don't drink beer or lager or anything like that. Don't drink beer or lager. But spirits sign me up. Even even fucking like whiskey. I'll have a bit of fucking Jack Daniels or something like that. But oof. I used to. I used to really like fucking cider until um, typical old kind of thing, innit? it. Like I used to like something until I did too much of it. 
Fucking went out one night and drunk. Oh, everybody, everybody were egging me on. Everybody were egging me on. It's like, oh, chug, 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 chug. And oh, fuck off. But you do anyway. Drunk too much fucking cider. It's too cheap and you get too fucking much of it. And then when you've got all your mates fucking blagging you out, egging you on and stuff like that. Oh, here's another one, Liam. Here's another one. And then they're buying you drinks because they know you're deliberately getting fucked. And then uh, before you know it, I was just fucking trolled. Absolutely fucked. Absolutely fucked. And I can, I usually only drink pretty fucking well as well, but whoa. Yeah, it, cider is weird, isn't it? Cider, cider gives you a, a, it's a different kind of drunk, isn't it? it it's not like spirits or beer or like that. It, it's, it's somewhat fucking weird. It's something weird. But I ain't touched cider since that day. Last time I drank some cider was 21, 22 or something like that. And I've not, I've not drunk any since then. I've not drunk any in about eight or nine years. Because of that. <laughs> it definitely turned me off. I was not up for a drink of cider ever again. That's how you do it though. If you, do, if you don't want to fucking drink some ever again, drink shit tons. You're 30 odd? I am indeed. I turned 30 in January. 30 in January? Fucking time flies, man. Time fucking flies. But yeah, like, like I say though, I, I don't drink that much meat. I've never drunk that much. British drinking culture is annoying. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it is... It, 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 well, like I say, there is definitely a drinking culture in England. Definitely. Hey, you're 24 tomorrow, dude. Happy birthday. In advance. No, you know what? Oh, no, 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 wait. It's still the 23rd. It's only just clicked in the 23rd. Oh, well. Pre-congratulations, dude. Pre-happy birthday. 24 on the 24th. That timed well, didn't it? What do you think of rum then? Do you drink too much? You know what? I can I mean, I don't think I've ever even had rum, you know. Not that I can remember. Uh, I, I know for a fact I've never fucking ordered rum. I don't I, I honestly I don't I don't think I've ever even had rum, you know. I must have done. I must have done at some point or another, but I can't remember it. It, it must have been a good fucking night. <laughs> I don't know, I can't fucking remember it. But yeah, definitely a drinking culture in England. Definitely. But it, it never it never actually um, really grabbed me. Don't get me wrong, I went out and stuff like that and drunk with folk and stuff like that. But, you know, it was never like, you know, we've got to go out every weekend. We've got to get fucking smashed and stuff like that. It was never like that for me. It was never like that for me. I just, I just like going out with folk and stuff like that and having a drink with folk and socialising and stuff. Never really bothered, like... I mean, I was usually... That, 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 that time when I got absolutely fucking destroyed on cider... That was the only time I've ever been really drunk around people. No, tell a lie. No, tell a lie. There's two times I've ever been really fucking drunk around... Claire doesn't drink a drop. Not a single drop. I think Claire's only ever had, like, three mouthfuls of booze in her entire life. And uh, that was an Al uh, Alcapop. So, I don't know if that even really counts. I don't know if that even really counts. But what, what was I saying now? Yeah, I've only ever been drunk, really drunk twice. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish on the story, guys, because um, I've got to get off in, like, now, pretty much. <laughs> but I'll, I'll go at five o'clock. I'll go at five o'clock in a few minutes. Yeah, um, twice I've been smashed. The first time... Well, well, sorry, the second time was that when I was just saying about when um, I drunk too much cider. Everybody was egging me on, chug, 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 Liam, chug, Liam. Here's a drink, Liam, here's a drink, Liam. Chug it, Liam, chug it, Liam, chug it, Liam. And I fucking did like an idiot. And by the time we got to the club, the last club we were going to, I was too drunk to get in. They won't let me in. They go, he's, he's fucking gone, is that guy. That's way too fucking gone. That, that's how fucking drunk I am. Fucking um, bouncers turned me away. <laughs> As if I was so drunk, the bouncers, bouncers fucking turned me away. And, um... What was I going to say? 
Oh yeah, I'm basically set outside of the, um, well, more like laid outside of the club on this bit of grass. Just fucking staring into the fucking sky, man. Staring into the fucking sky, enjoying myself. And um, they went in. Uh, I think um, I think about half of them went in and half of them stayed out and um, just fucked about because they weren't too bothered anyway. So I'm fucking there, laid on grass. Next thing I fucking hear, this is about, uh, apparently this is about an hour later. Um, it's uh, fucking couple of my mates and my housemate fucking like trying to coax me into the car. Going, oh Liam, there's a fucking, there's a joypad in here, Liam, come play this game and stuff like that. I'm like, lol, what the fucking insult, if so fucking insult me, I'm gonna fall for that. Like, I'm the fucking, like the roadrunner equivalent or something like that. Like, do you know, put some fucking bird seed down the floor and all the roadrunners will, uh, fucking roadrunner will come fucking eat it. Like, they're doing that kind of shit to me, like, oh, there's a joypad here, Liam, come get it, like it's a fucking cartoon. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> funny, it did get me into the car, though, I did get into the car. So, you know, I guess as far as they're concerned, it worked. <laughs> you know? But, I still remember that. Like I say, spat out on this grass, staring up into the fucking very clear night, actually. It was it was very nice, very nice. Next thing I know, oh, you Liam! We've got a fucking, we've got a, there's a joypad over here. Come play this game. We've got this game. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Just hobbled, got onto my feet and hobbled my way to the fucking car and... Got back home and went to fucking sleep. So that was the second time. First time I ever got really fucking drunk was funnily enough, a barren, a, this is quite embarrassing actually. First time I got really fucking drunk was with my mum. With my mum fucking out we, um, I can't remember who else we were out with, but it was my mum and, um, mum and Gordon. And, um, all, yeah, it was Gordon's family and stuff like that as well. And, um, we were out at a working men's club and she was like, oh, come out and celebrate your 18th, Liam. Are you going out? Or all like that. I'm like, nah, I can't be asked. I'm like, I'm like, not really bothered. And she's like, no, no, you gotta go out, you gotta go out. And she worked me down and worked me down and worked me down and eventually just went, fine, fine, fine. I'll come out for a couple of hours, come out for a couple of hours. So I went with my fucking mum and God and everybody else to this uh, working men's club. And all Gordon's family's there and stuff like that, his mum and stuff like that. And, um, because it's me, it was me, uh, sorry, did I mention this? It was my 18th birthday. It was my 18th birthday. So everybody's buying fucking, everybody's buying me drinks like crazy. Like, fucking, here's a drink, here's a drink, here's a drink. Like, I'm going, I'm going to the bar and get myself a drink. And it's like, oh, what did you order yourself? And it's, oh, by the way, I should set up the stage, really. It's a working men's club. And in case you don't know, working men's clubs are incredibly cheap on the booze. Very, very, very cheap on the booze. Like, probably about half the price is what you'll pay in a club or something like that. And, um, so I'm like, holy shit, this is fucking awesome. Fucking well cheap in here. And, um, so I'm going to a fucking bar and I'm getting, like, what, what am I getting now? I think I'm getting a vodka and coke, double vodka and coke, and a shot of Jack Daniels each time. So, uh, I come back to the table with me, me, me Jack Daniels and me fucking vodka and coke, drink these two. And then go back to the bar, and then pe what people started doing is going back to me with the fucking, going back to me with the bar, and saying, oh, what are you getting, Liam? It's like, oh, I'm getting vodka and coke and a Jack Daniels. It's like, well, double it. You know, get one from me as well. Happy birthday and all this kind of shit. So I'm like, oh, nice one, dude. So I'm coming back from the bar now with, like, two vodkas and cokes and two shots of Jack Daniels. And then by the, by the time I've done this, like, two or three times, I'm too fucked to even move. So people are just bringing me drinks then. Oh, I saw that you were drinking shots of uh, JD, um, Liam. Here you go. Here's another couple of shots of JD. Oh yeah, I saw you had vodka and coke, Liam. Here you go. Here's a fucking vodka and coke. I swear to fucking God, man. The world started to fucking spin that night. Jesus Christ. I remember um, we were taking everybody home. Like, um, I can't remember who, who was driving. And we were taking everybody home. And I got to last stop. And, uh, well, the last stop before we were getting back to my house, whoa. But uh, the, the car journey had taken its fucking toll. These friends and family suck. They fucking do, man. They, they, they do fucking suck. That was, they were just, they were doing it deliberately by the end. They fucking suck. And um, got to the, got to the last house and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's it now. I've got to fuck it. I've I got to expunge this evil from within me. I've got to purge this fucking terror. 
and um, got out of the fucking car and swear to god this fucking road I painted this road pink I don't know why my fucking puke was pink but I painted this road fucking pink and uh, <laughs> apparently um, somebody was telling me that apparently the next day when they went out to clean all my fucking puke out of the fucking road all the birds were jumping up and down in my fucking puke Apparently they were dancing around and fucking messing around and all me fucking sick. Gross end to the story, but that's that, that, that's that's the end of the story. That's the last thing I heard about it. <laughs> Apparently birds were dancing around in my fucking 18 year old's vomit. <laughs> Followed Jack Daniels and Vodka and Coke. <laughs> but didn't you get hammered in Vegas? I didn't. I didn't get hammered in Vegas. Oh wait, no, no. I got slightly drunk in Vegas, and then I ran out of money. You see, what happened in Vegas is... this. Is, so that, that, that was my 18th birthday, basically getting smashed to pieces, just beyond repair. No amount of superglue could glue me back together. I was fucking... I was gone that night, fucked. The problem for me in Vegas... this is So that was my 18th. Then roll around three years on from that, 21. So I'm like, sweet, I'm going to Vegas for my 21st. Well, I wasn't actually going to Vegas for my 21st. There was a tournament there. And it just so happened that I turned 21 um, less than two weeks before I went there. I mean, I remember some of the bouncers in the strip clubs, they were like, you lucky fuck. You vote... Because yeah, I had to show my passport. Otherwise, don't fucking believe me. So, like, obviously, I got ID'd at every single... Um, not not at the bar. I never got ID'd at the bars, but every strip every strip club I did get ID'd. And um when they ID'd me they they were like, You lucky fucker. You lucky fucker. And I'm like, yeah, damn right, I only turned twenty one about a week and a half ago. Now I'm in fucking Vegas. It was good shit. But I I was only twenty one. Didn't have much money and stuff, and I didn't go there with an awful lot of money. And I did alright, but I was gambling a little bit in the casinos, not doing too bad, stuff like that. And the problem was, I didn't lose my money in the casinos. I was doing alright in the casino, absolutely fine. And that was the problem. I was doing alright in the casinos, so I kept getting brought compliment, um, comp drinks. You know, like, fucking... I don't, I don't know if you know how it works in Vegas and shit like that, but, you know, if you're doing well, or even if you're not, you know, you get offered drinks and stuff like that, and, you know, complimentary. And seriously, I mean, I only bought like fucking two drinks myself and I must have been given about fucking six or seven or some shit like that from fucking other folks. So I've got these fucking vodkas and coke on fucking tap almost. And then I got drunk. Yeah, 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 you, you, you do. I mean, they get you drunk, so you spend more. But the problem for me is I thought I was very clever. I'm like, you're not getting me drunk just so I can fucking gamble more. I'm on to your game, blah, blah, blah. So I fucking, I basically gambled a bit there, got a bit, got some drinks, gambled a bit here, got some drinks, gambled a bit there, got some drinks, but then I got too drunk. So I leave the casino like, ha ha ha, I'm almost drinking for free, motherfuckers, and I've still got loads of money. What of it? Come at me. I'm fucking doing well today, suck it. So I come out of this fucking casino, I'm, I'm fucking buzzing myself, and then I walk past, I didn't even realise it was a strip club. And the guy's like, oh dude, you want to see some fucking girls? I'm like, dude, dude, I thought, yeah, yeah, set me up. And he's like, oh, you want to come in here then? You want to come in here? So I'm like, oh, okay then. So I fucking, so I went in there and he fucking, he said, oh, I need to see some ID first. I need to see some ID. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I turned 21 a week and a half ago. Here you go. And he's like, ah, oh, you lucky fuck, you lucky fuck. So I go into the fucking, um, go into the strip club. And um, that was it. The majority of my fucking money gone. The majority of money gone. Fucking destroyed. Lost it fucking all pretty much. Uh, I, I came out. Of the, I came out of the strip club like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? You know, it's like I, I, had, I had a decent bit of money now. It's, it sobered me the fuck up. It sobered me the fuck up. I was like, yeah, I'm nicely drunk here. I don't need to drink anymore. I came out of the fucking strip club like, fucking hell. I wish I could have something to fucking drink now. What happened there? <laughs> you know, it was worth it. Oh, yeah, it was worth it, don't get me wrong, and shit like that. You know, I came out there quite happy, big grin on my face. But at the same fucking time, like, I was like, fucking hell, that cost me a lot, did that? I was doing alright till then. 
You're sick, Massive Man's food on the sponsor's tab. I did indeed. I did indeed. I've told the story before. I have. I've, to I've told the stripper story before, but still, it's a good one. You can't, you can't ask for much more, can you? On your 21st birthday to have a stripper story. You know, you go to Vegas for your 21st. You do quite well at gambling and drinking and stuff like that. And then what you, do, what you lose your money to is strippers. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And by the t thing is, me, me, my teammates hadn't even arrived that day. My teammates hadn't even. We, it was something weird about the flight, and me and we there was four of us. No, sorry, five of us. And me and one guy got there on day one, and the other three arrived on day two. Something got fucked up with the flights, and by the time everybody else arrived, I was broke. I had like ten dollars to my name. And they didn't believe me. Fucking, they were, they were like, they were like, oh, so what have you been up to then? It's like, well, I'm fu I've fucking lost all my money. They're like, what? It's like, oh, have you lost your money? Do you, you've been gambling away? It's like, well, no, I did fine at gambling. I didn't lose my money at gambling. It was the fucking, it was strippers. Strippers took my money. Strippers stole my cash. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. It's like, no, dude, seriously, I am fucking broke. They're like, they're like there's like five days more yet. It's like, yeah, fuck it though, I don't care. And it, it, it didn't matter. I had my hotel. And food was comp, you know, food was all taken care of, it was all included, stuff like that. Like, um, like Church said, yeah, I ran up the um, tab of the sponsors. You see, what the sponsor, what a AMD actually intended was that the UT team was going to eat like McDonald's and KFC and, you know, all you can eat buffets for like, you know, four or five bucks or something like that. What the sponsors didn't intend was that fucking four or five of us we're going to go around to the fanciest restaurants in Vegas, eating steaks and going to Bellagio and eating shark and stuff like that. They didn't quite expect we were going to do that. They didn't quite see that one coming. It was fucking great, though. It was fucking great. Seriously. Sat, I, I remember sitting in the Bellagio with not a dollar in my pocket. I didn't have a dollar on me. Nothing. I, w I didn't even have my wallet on me. I had nothing. Not a penny to my name. But I'm sat in the Bellagio with my teammates eating shark and drinking champagne. It was fucking like, it's just one of the, you're thinking in your mind at times, just like, what the fuck is going on here? How have I managed this? <laughs> hey, eating shark isn't bad. Eating shark's fucking nice. Shark is like chicken for men. You know, if, do you know if shark was more common? You know, say shark had been as common as chicken. Men would say chicken is a woman's meat. And if you want to eat a proper fucking chicken, you eat a shark. You want to eat a proper chicken, you eat a man's chicken. You eat a shark. That's what it's like. It's like a spicy, deep sea chicken. That's what it tastes like to me. Chickens for women. Chickens for women, sharks for men. That's the, that's the meat of men. You, you jump in the fucking ocean, you punch a shark, and then you eat it. And that's how, that, that's how men are supposed to eat. But unfortunately, we're all soft nowadays. We get chicken from Tesco's and stuff like that. Shark is really nice though, seriously. If you, consider it my, my, my culinary... No. My cuisine recommendation. If you ever get the opportunity to eat shark, do so. You need to get that set up with TGS, yes. I, I, I need a fully comped trip to Vegas from TGS. Food, everything, get it in there. Really, really nice though. Spicy deep sea chicken. Mm -mm. It was nice. Seriously, the food I ate in Bellagio, wow. Like, if you ever go to Vegas, go to the, the Bellagio and, uh, and eat in there, at their main, um, their main restaurant thing. Wow, it's fucking nice, man. Like I said, shark and champagne. I had this chocolate cake. I can't even tell you what the fuck was on it or what the fuck was in it. It, but it was bloody nice. Bloody nice. It was the fanciest cake I've ever fucking seen in my life. The food there was just like... You could tell like every single... Every single item that had been made... Had been prepared... Like properly, carefully prepared... Each individual item. 
every single thing had been master crafted. It was like, wow. I'd never seen anything fucking like it. I mean, that's the fanciest place I've ever eaten in. Definitely. Very nice. Bellagio fountains are really nice as well. I just fucking love Vegas, period, me. I would say Vegas is a classy fucking joint, period. But to be honest, it's not. But the, 